Next up, we have Chris Farrell's pick. A coalition of pro-immigration legal services groups have criticized Joe Biden's decision to restart the Remain in Mexico program. The groups called the program racist, and some news outlets have reported that some groups have refused to provide legal representation to migrants waiting in Mexico for a court hearing in the U.S. Chris, what do you make of this? This is, this is the left overplaying its hand once again and doing it with no sense of irony whatsoever. Talk about being tone deaf. So <clears throat> Biden tried to stop Remain in Mexico, uh, the Migrant Protection Program, right. which said if you want to get asylum, you have to stay in Mexico. We'll review your case. And if we decide yes, then you're allowed in. It, allowed in. If not, stay there. Different groups volunteered legal services to represent those, per those persons seeking asylum. Now that the Biden administration has been ordered to maintain the Trump policy, a court in Texas ordered them to do so, it's going to be argued over in the Supreme Court in April. But while it is in the current effect, these legal groups are abandoning their clients, right? So they pretend to be advocates for immigration reform. They pretend to be advocates for these persons seeking asylum until they don't get their way. Then they abandon their clients, attempt to apply political pressure to the administration to violate a court order. And in the meanwhile, the same people who they're supposedly advocating for and trying to right. help it's all about the are left with nothing. And so this is the great fraud laid out in no uncertain terms. And the biggest loser, of course, will be the people seeking to get in. Some, a, a, a tiny percentage, probably do have legitimate asylum claims, right. normally about 10%. Um, but look, these phony leftist attorneys, the National Lawyers Guild type, La Raza, they don't give a damn about these people. It's all about political maneuvering and gamesmanship and trying yeah. to embarrass the administration. And the administration, it, this actually, much like they're doing with COVID and suddenly they're very pro-law enforcement. I don't know if you're aware how much they love law enforcement. But this could be another opportunity opportunity for them to kind of divert the nar narrative a little bit by saying, look, at we are uh, pro some type of law enforcement on immigration. And yet these leftist groups, as you're saying, just continue to push against what the American people have so clearly made their voices known about. Except, you know, Biden gets up and talks about enforcing the border, you know, another great lie. This right. is truly Orwellian. But his Justice Department attorneys will go in front of the Supreme Court in April and argue how they shouldn't have to do remain in Mexico. I mean, at some point, there's going to be no one left to lie to. I mean, they lie over and yeah. over and over again, so many different ways, so many different approaches. Who were they talking to? That's who they'll lie to at the next moment. And then the next audience, they'll lie in another yeah. way. And so this is just, it's being laid out in very plain fashion. The problem is you have to pay attention. Right. And, that, the, and that's what they're counting the on people not doing. The attention span is exhausted. Exactly.